everybody was thinking about how to make batteries. No, not many people were thinking about what happens to them afterward. I'm Amrit Chandon, CEO and co-founder of Acceleron. I'm Carlton Cummins, CTO and co-founder of Acceleron. At Acceleron, we focus on making lithium ion batteries more sustainable by designing a product that was made to be easily repaired, upgraded and recycled. As we look to decarbonize, batteries become more and more critical. The sun doesn't shine when we need electricity, and the wind doesn't always blow when we need electricity, which means we need some method of storing the power. Fundamentally, the way batteries are conventionally made for automobiles to consumer electronics is that many of the components inside the battery are either welded or glued together. This creates a massive challenge if the product or when the product needs to be repaired, and it also becomes a challenge when it needs to be recycled because everything was put together in a permanent assembly method. What we wanted to do was think about batteries differently, thinking about the whole life cycle of the product. At some point, it does need to be disposed. We made the product using a compression technology that we've patented and created ourselves that allows you to easily assemble and disassemble the product, which enables easy repair, easy reuse, upgrade, and recycling. Meaning that we can keep a battery in service hope for much longer, reducing the lifetime cost, as well as the waste that's generated. With battery technology continually improving over the years, why would people want to be stuck with today's technology in 10, 15 years time? So by making a battery that's designed to enable upgrade, we have unlocked the potential for our energy storage to improve as well. You've got the independent materials that make the cells, and then you also have the way you assemble those cells together. We have focused predominantly on how you bring the components together, because there have been a lot of unsustainable practices in that area gluing and welding things together in a permanent fashion. It also allows us to leverage improvements on how they make the components very quickly. So as people transition from non-cobalt or cobalt-free batteries, we've been able to quickly adopt and use some of these cobalt-free battery chemistries within our products because we leverage the existing components and bring them together in a sustainable manner. We both met in the back of a hydrogen fuel cell car, which by the way is Carlson's favourite type of vehicle. And then we both uh, ended up working at the same space by coincidence just a month later. We also had some really interesting conversations at lunch and from that it just felt like Ippo was going to start up a business in energy storage and it was the guy I was going to work with. I think to be fair we have very different skill sets but we, we share the same values. I think that's a really good way of putting it. We look at the world in completely different ways, but that really works well together. I think part of the challenge today is whether a battery is truly sustainable or not really depends on how it's being used. Because batteries are, are often discarded when they reach the end of first life, yet they still have so much of their life to live and to give. It means that often batteries are not paying back the carbon that goes into their production from the first place as well as paying the carbon that is needed for the recycling of those products. Looking forward into energy storage years ahead, I think what I'm really hoping for the most is that people come to realize the, the full potential of energy storage. Uh, a battery is an enabling technology. It allows you to store stuff. It's an energy bucket. And that then allows you to create and do things that were not possible prior. So I'm really excited to see batteries enable industries that they really don't touch on significantly right now. Prosthetics, you know, large scale energy, you know, energy on a much smaller scale, more consumer devices powered by clean energy, enabled by better batteries. Those are all possibilities that I'm very excited about.